father Michael was chairman and manager. And I remember following him as a club dragging a large brown suitcase containing the jerseys laundered by my mother. She even ironed them. And that was with a twin tub when she was washing them. And there was only one set of jerseys. The juniors played first and the seniors played the same set of jerseys on afterwards. Thank God we didn't sweat in those days. And there wasn't a single set of togs that were the same. One man made a black tog, another by a green tog, and you often heard somebody say, any man's got a spare pair of boots. Could you imagine that now? That one set of jerseys. The common part of the kit was the old red and white. That was the thing that stood out for us. Remember going out to the old pitch, out the crumb road, the corrugated iron hut with the nails to hang your clothes on. Such was part of life, a togging out in the hedge. There was no sponsors, kids, no training cops, and lovely bags and gum shields. And in those days, a hamstring was something that tied a gammon. No one had ever heard of a hamstring before. The development of our games the present day, from all the way to this incredible success that we have now, and of the ladies, the heart of this club, in so many ways. Sometimes, in the past, the ladies went by our house more often with trophies in the back and glory than Daddy's hay. They won so many in the past. We all have made a gap of gratitude to all the generations and individuals who made this club what it actually is. From the Rover visiting the pit, collecting at the gap, which was the entrance to the park, with the 50 pieces of the 10 ball bin we put in the Rover visiting the pit for the collection at the beginning of the game. Together with my brother Mark and Reynolds Martin and my father, I remember one Sunday spending out there gathering stones in that pitch 36 years ago. But to now the splendour of a crunchy pitch, how do we put the lady to the field to see his granddaughter Molly, captain for Mana last Sunday in the Crow Park. Anisha Carja Gale, Falter of Galier, Gomonahan Brothers from Anna GEA TV, Agus Mujik Chaktogov, Bio Bahak as Park Givnihan and Kananak Vagir in Ahagi, Dun Kliha Shrahasha in Rinadaw, Oriha Egg Crust and Crumb. Anokt Imroi 
common lutla scale i rahali veil ku in a and kid common ar manach ahage vi banu na parka nis tushke in you agus chifim bimaja kainch we could dishin nis gni so tonight we have a special broadcast coming live from from park kananak for gear the newest pitch in fermana over the course of this broadcast we'll have we'll have pieces of the official opening as well as this game in Division 2 between Newtown Butler and Belcu O'Rahillies. Joining me for the broadcast as analyst for this evening will be Jarlis Jackman. The dulcet tones of Jarlis Jackman as seen you build as on the Newtown <laughs> Butler social media. So did you know that's what they call you? I had to look up here, what Jarlis? that word meant. <laughs> <laughs> so currently... You're, hel you're helping us out because of an injury, so um, can you let us t tell us what happened and when you expect to be back? No, it'll be next year to came before I'm back. It was a, a kind of like a freak, a freak training accident. Training accident. A training it was, yeah. Um, just a bad coming together, very unfortunate and pure bad luck, I suppose. Um, my leg tangled with one of the yeah. boys' legs. and. Well, we're very glad to have you <laughs> on, on the broadcast anyway. So we'll talk about this game. I suppose, really, in, in a nutshell, this, game, this is a real relegation six-pointer. Because is, both right. of these teams are contesting. So um, a quick rundown for anyone who hasn't seen the Division Two uh, uh, li league table, which you can see on the Fermanagh GA website. Uh, Irvinstown sit on top on 12 points. And tonight they play Maguire's Bridge. Joint second is Belcu and Timor on 11 points. So one point between first and third. Following them, we have got Listenski and Newtown Butler on 10 points. So Listenski are at home to Co and Adram C host Timor with this game here. And then the other game in the division being Tampo and Brookborough. So it's fair to say just before we start around Naveen, um, Charlie, that this is the winner of this game, or the loser of this game, Promotion could be would, over. You would think that, all right. Um, I think both teams have pretty, have pretty tough run-ins now. To be fair, I think. Going to go for Aron Naveen, and that was Maria Maguire taking us through Aron Naveen. Very quickly, we will have a couple of seconds to. Um, we'll get the teams, I suppose, as, as they. Uh, when the yes. teams start, uh, as the game, because there could be some late changes. But uh, as Jarlis was saying there, this is a relegate, it's or a, it's a promotion six point between point. the two teams, as. Um, uh, as both of them are certainly in contention. This is the official opening of Newtown Sorry. Butler's Park Kananach Vagir, Park Kivnihan and Kananach Vagir. So it's certainly a game that Newtown are looking to hit the ground running, Charlie. You would need to hit the ground running to say Belcou have been uh, they've kinda set the pace for most of the league this yeah. year. They've been up with they've been there or thereabouts. Um as you said just before the national anthem, I think if Newtown Probably, definitely, if Newton don't win this, they're nearly out of the race yeah. for the top two anyway. Um. And just for our viewers at home, Charlie, obviously you're here <coughs> as an analyst and, and our new town to your court. We've got a Belcou cameraman and, and Sean <laughs> Burns has offered to come and check you every time Belcou <laughs> scores. So for anyone joining into this broadcast from Belcou, don't think that it's going to be totally one-sided. So you have a, a couple of the, the changes on, change, on the Belcou uh, team. Just given there by the Belcou manager, yes, Killian Murray's in replacing Chrissy Leonard. So number nine is going to be replaced Killian by Murray. 18. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we're in number nine, I think. Right, because um, number um, 17 is also there as well. That's Connor McAloon. So Barry McGovern's in the sea there as yeah, well. It's going to take a couple of minutes. This yeah. is what happens in some <laughs> of these league games. Anyway, the ball's been thrown in. Now Newtown have the initial possession. This is Ryan Carson coming over to this side of the field, and that's Connor Courtney. picks it up. He's been faced by 
Dean McDermott, but Courtney gets inside and it's away to the wing half back, Ryan Rooney heading down towards the end line, but he fists that ball back in. He was looking for the wing half forward, he's James Connolly. That's turned over now, and in the hands of uh, Dean McDermott, I think that is, it's going to come out with their corner back, Jared McHugh, in their own corner, in, in their own corner back position. Barry McGovern. Barry McGovern <coughs> has that there. I mean, that's, I was just going to say the turnover is very liable to come here because Belcou were not coming out no. with much conviction in that there. They have won it back and now they have an opportunity to get away, spread the play out towards the open side of the field. It's still Barry McGovern in there. and that They're fighting it tough to get out. The game's only been on for about a minute and we've spent 45 seconds <laughs> in inside five metres squared. But the play is going to continue now and it's Belcou winning the sideline. Two men on this side of the field that's their corner back Jared McHugh to the wing to the wing half back he's Dean McDermott and Belcou still have it probably given the given the occasion as well it's no harm for some of the players to get an opportunity to get their hands on the ball but certainly from that initial piece of play Belcou could have done with moving out trying to get outside I think a few of the boys from Newtown just have to find the range of it with a bit of their pass in that yeah pass is not going to hand there is a right breeze there too. There is um, a strong breeze. It's blowing from left to right as we look at it. So Belcou are playing with that breeze in the first half. And it's their, cor it's their centre half back Owen Shields who's broke inside the Newtown 45 metre line. He's heading back towards midfield. Two Newtown players around him. He gives it to the... He gives it to uh, number 18, who's Killian Murray. Hit that ball left footed. That's the first score. The first score in uh, Park Cannonock for gear here. And it goes to the Bell Coup wearing number nine. And that is uh, Killian yeah, Murray. Score. Um, it was a great shot. I think he used the wind to his advantage there as well. It curled in nicely. Kick out coming long against the breeze. It's going to be 1v1 in there. Broken down by Ryan Kirsten and picked up by the wing half back Connor Quinn. He's going over to that far side of the field. He's got support over there from the midfielder, Sean Connan. One of the young players you were telling Sean me about came earlier up this on. Year from, he came up from uh, the under 18s um, and he's been showing very well so far. I know well, midfield looks like the place for him because he must say. be six foot yeah. at what, 19 years of age? I think he's only 18 yet. Is Sean. he 18? He just turned 18 there, yeah. So uh, he's definitely one. Well, I suppose he's one for now. People say he's one for the future. Yeah, well you have to keep. You have to keep these players. You do. You do. Now it's uh, Lachlan King who's going to take this. Dermot King, I beg your pardon, going to take this right footed on the 21 meter line. Breeze seems to have died down. We'll look at the flags in front of me on the far side. They're blowing slightly, but that's right footed that's heading in. There, that's yeah. over the bar, and that is. And Cian Cummins, first point of the game, and that point went to their full forward, Dermot King, a young player, probably a player who's carrying a lot of pressure in in in, in Newtown because he showed well he at did. at schools football and underage football. He uh, he had a very good first year last year, Dermot, and I suppose when you're somebody of his quality, you're going to have that pressure on you from an yeah. from the get go. But he he is settling well. Um, he he's still only young himself, you know. He's I think he's only 19, Dermot, but. That ball's well so far. That's turned over there now, and it's Kieran Flaherty, one of the stalwarts from Belcou, hitting that ball in. It's gone to the corner forward. It's number 20 indeed, and that is Josh Killalee. And as Belcou break forward, it's their full forward, Daryl Kelly, goes to ground. Ball's recycled through the hands. It's coming over here now to Killian Murray. Got the first point left footed going for a second one. Second. Two points for Killian Murray. Yeah, he started well, Killian Murray. I think I saw him play in a reserve match earlier on the year and he showed very well too. So no, he's um he seems like a decent player. Kicking with the breeze as well. Yeah. Um but when you <coughs> get that first score, Charlie, it can give you the bit of confidence it can. to take on the other ones. It and Killian Murray just he's got nine on his back, but he's standing in around the forty five he line. Pushed up. He's nearly playing as, as a half forward nearly. Um there yeah. he is again, he's putting up Good pressure from the Bit ball. of a tussle going on yeah. here, and it is Killian Murray. He's torn that over. That's a turnover for Belcu. It's given to the corner forward, who's Lawrence McKeown. Back to Kieran Flaherty here now. He's breaking inside. Breeze has picked up again, and I think it's going to be a factor for this evening. Now that ball hasn't gone to hand, and Newtown with an opportunity to break. It's their cent it's their wing, f it's their midfielder Conlon. Now it's come back to him again. He got it from Jason Flanagan, and that's Oshin Conlon. Hit Sean Conlon, beg your pardon, hitting that ball in. Hey, goalkeeper from Belcou. Gary Doherty comes out. He's got two Newtown players around him, and it's come off one of the Newtown attackers because it's going to be a sideline ball for Belcou here. 
live on Monaghan <laughs> Brothers TV. And just a word for the sponsors for tonight's scheme from each of the clubs. Uh, we have got DG Windows and Doors from Belcoo and Gort Nagaro Tire Service from Newtown Butler. So have to mention those businesses that are uh, supporting us in our work and supporting our clubs as well. Speaking of support play on the far side of the field, it's the uh, centre half back from Belcoo. Owen Shields was supporting his runner Dara Flanagan. That's another point for Belcoo. Kicked, I think, was that from was that uh, number ten? I'm pretty I think sure. It was number ten, all right. Yeah. Um, who swung that over? That was Maddie McAloon. Three points to one for New for Belcoo in these opening minutes and a strong start from Belcoo. It is, no it is a that. strong start, surely. And I think Belcoo's. Uh, but whose runners are off the ball are causing Newtown a lot of problems, and their late runners are. Um, I know that'll be a disappointment from. Kick out Newtown for Keane no O'Dowd. He's going long against this breeze. 2v1 in there, and the two men from Belcoo come together, but it's been picked up by the midfielder, Jason Flanning, and he gives it over here now to Connor Courtney. And Connor Courtney, with plenty of pace, gives it to Ryan Carson, looks to deliver it over to that corner, which goes to Jeremy King. Gets the ball eventually at the second time of asking. He's going to hit it left footed back to Ray and Carson. He's got a support player inside him who's Connor Courtney. But Carson, with plenty of time and no pressure, is able to just stroke that over the bar. That's the second point for uh, for Ankeid Common Ahagi. And the scoreline now reads Belcu Rahali's three points, Newtown Butler two points. Pretty open start to the game as well, Charlie. It's fair to Very say, but it's a, one, it's, a, it's a lovely evening for football as well. It is. It is. It's been. Uh, it's been pretty even. A little bit maybe just shading a bit, um, but definitely, it has been very uh, even. Up. Pushing the back there now, and away we go with uh, Newtown again. That is uh, James Conley's wearing 10 on his back, gives it to Carson. Two left footed players. Carson looks to put that ball over to the corner forward. It was Sean Milani. It was intercepted by uh, uh, it was intercepted by Kieran Flaherty, but referee Carol Bradshaw was playing an advantage. Late tackle seemed to be on James Connolly, and now it's going to be a free. Going to suit the right footed kicker of Dermot King. I love what that wind Against a strong yeah. breeze. I think the wind died down for the first one, Jim would hit, which probably helped him a bit. But he'll fancy himself because he's, he's been hitting his free as well. <coughs> so it's going to be a free, I would say. It's maybe about 40 metres out because it's just inside the 45 metre line. Going to take this off the ground, uh, Jim King. Reasonably central, only four or five metres to the left-hand side of the post. So the angle's not too bad. It helps the angle because you don't have to put as much that effort is, into right. that there. If you can get it directed towards the goals it's at all. It's a tough kick all the same now. A bit of a breeze in her face. So this is Dermot King lining up for his first f uh, uh, for a first free off the ground. Gets a good connection. He's going to have to get that thrown in. Don't in think front. it's going to draw. That's <laughs> gone wide. So the scoreline remains at three points to Belcoo, two points to Newtown Butler here in the first half. And this game been brought to you on Monaghan Brothers for Mana GEA TV in the Crust and Crumb Division 2 league game. Earlier on, we had the blessing of the pitch here, and if Newtown can't get in front, I'm sure Father Gary's going to bring a bit more <laughs> holy water out at half time. But it's Newtown on the attack here. It's over there with the corner forward. Jero Keefe slips around, hits that ball left footed, going in, but it's gone wide. It was an opportunity for it the was, young fella. He's another was. one of the young boys coming up, Charlie. We heard uh, from Anna Chairperson Brian Armitage was talking about the success that Newtown have had underage in the past couple they of have years. They have had a, f uh, a few decent results at, at under 18 level and under 17 level, maybe even going back to under 16 level. Yeah. But it's just keeping the players too, Keon. You know, it's yeah, it's all right having them at that underage <laughs> level, but it's keeping them and getting them up. In the playing senior football, that's what Short that's what kick about. out here and Belcoo with a scoring opportunity. Kieran Flaherty coming round the side, and that's a very good score. It was a short kick out taken by Gary Doherty. It found the uh, it found the full forward Daryl Kelly on the edge of the D. Kieran Flaherty Flaherty comes straight off him off the wing, put that ball over the bar. It's another point for Belcoo, and probably fair to say Belcoo were getting their score slightly easier than um, slightly easier than first from Anna's. It'd Charlie be a bit Butt. of a concern for Newtown how easy Belcoo went from. Newtown nearly scoring to go st straight down the yeah, field. Yeah, two kicks really. Yeah, I suppose yeah, it just yeah. shows the strength of the breeze. That's been turned over again and it's Killian Murray. Gives it to Kieran Flaherty. I thought he fancied it, but he gives it to the centre half back Owen Shields. Back now to the number 17 who's Connor McAloon and the play continues now. It's Dean, Dean McDermott who's going to pick that up. He was been 
under pressure from Ryan Carson but gives it here now to Killian Murray he's had two points already I thought he was going to go for another one giving it to the full back who's Niall Leonard and Niall Leonard coming over here now to Connor McAloon again and that's left footed over to the far side of the field looking for the midfielder Paul McGrath he gives it then to the wing half back Dara Flanagan Another one of the young players that uh, Belcu have, and that's Daryl Kelly again, showing well in these in, the, in, the, in yeah. these early uh, early exchanges. There's no doubt about that. There, Belcu have ha held the ball on, to, have held onto the ball now for about a minute and a half. They've varied their attack play. That's a good in, a good ball inside to the centre half back, who's Owen Shields hitting that ball. It's not going to just come in, and it's ended up going wide. He kicked it wide, but um, Belcu seemed very happy to play the ball back and forth and across the field and, and found good space and there was, very a, there was a big on the ball <coughs> there was definitely a big gap for the forwards to run into there yeah there was scoreline still remains four points to Belku, two points to first for Manas. so double score so far in this first half but let's not forget that Belku are playing with a strong breeze that's another kick out turned over uncontested really and it was Owen Shields flicks it forward to Flaherty he gives it to Neil Leonard but the traction just fell for Leia Leonard. He went to the ground and wasn't able to get the pass away. And now it's been turned over and it's Ryan Carson going forward. He's going to look for the corner forward who is Sean Milani. Milani gets the ball at the second attempt, but he's under fierce pressure in there. Good tackling from the corner back, but it was, uh, it was foul tackling. And now Newtown playing away there. That ball has ended up going wide. And unfortunately, it came outside the six seconds of advantage which was being played. I think it was possibly the wing half Ryan back Rooney. Ryan Rooney yeah. who found himself in space. Maybe yeah, snatched. He I snatched think he had, he had a bit more time than, than he thought. But as you say, another one of the young yes. fellas and here the ball's coming back that's towards him again. Exactly. He's got that's gone over his head now. Another ball for Belcou that's gone away and it's been turned over and picked up by the corner back James McGuire gives it to number ten, James Connolly, and away we go inside again to Dermot King, King and Milani on that far corner of the field. Now Dermot King's away in a pace race with the corner back Jared McHugh. King still has it, fists the ball, fists the ball with his left hand, that's gone over the bar. It's a brilliant score that. Another score for Dermot King. He has got two points so far. Ryan Carson with the other one. Four points to three. I think goal was possibly on his mind until it the was, door got shut. Was. He was still able to get a score out I'd of it. I'd say Belcour were happily come away with that, just conceding the point because he'd get inside. Kick out coming here now, and there was a breakdown in communication as uh, James McGrath had went forward. But now here we go. It's the corner forward. Shot right footed, broken, saved by the ref, saved by the goalkeeper, and the referee, Save Carl Bradshaw, penalty. has indicated it's going to be a penalty. That was Connor Courtney, Connor Courtney who had the shot. Good save from goalkeeper was. Gary Doherty. He was able to get a strong left hand to keep that out, but it seems as if the uh, Connor Courtney was fouled after hitting that there, and it is going to be a penalty. Conor Courtney inside that range, um, bearing down the goals, is very, Could have taken himself. Yeah, he t I think he hit a penalty on Sunday against Armstrong and he scored a two, so he'll fancy himself. So this is uh, uh, four points to three is the score at the minute, w minus this penalty coming from Conor Courtney as a couple of the players lines it up. Oh, and he's good got score. it. Scored good penalty, sent the goalkeeper <laughs> the wrong way. I think Conor scored a penalty on Sunday and you can just see by that strike, he was very confident hitting that strike, so that was a good finish. He was, and that's the first goal on the new field. So one that's three. One for the history books. That's it. It'll be a, could be a quiz question. <laughs> the score and time to come. <laughs> one three to one three to the first for Manas. Four points to Belcou, and now the game business has picked up a bit here, Charlie, because Belcou were definitely in front, and then with one stroke that's been turned around. Now that's a high ball heading in. It's going in there. It's well handled by the centre half back Jimmy McCaffrey because uh, the corner forward was definitely looking for that ball over the top, it but was, McCaffrey was still has it. Great catch by Jimmy. Um, that's, that's one of Jimmy's stronger points on the high ball. He's great hands. And with the sun in his eyes yeah. as well. He has the ball back here now. He's got support, I think, from the midfielder who is uh, Sean Conlon. Conlon looks to deliver that ball into James Conlon. He's going to give it forward now again to Dermot King. He's in a good tussle there with Jared McHugh. King has it again. Look on that right footed, swinging it in, and that's gone wide, <coughs> wide in his own side. He was under pressure from Jared McHugh. Like it, that is that is going to be a tussle between well those two players. Jared McHugh seems well fit to match him for pace anyway. And now the kick out again is going to come from goalkeeper for Belcu, Gary 
uh, Gary Doherty. He has to wait for all his players to get outside the 21 metre line. That's a, one of the new rules brought in, and a couple of goalkeepers have fallen foul of that. Uh, That's a great kick out to the far side. It was number 20, Josh Killalee. He's got the ball at the second time of asking. He was under pressure from James Maguire and Belcou have got that. Goalkeeper Gary Doherty's come out here now, giving it back to Killalee and Belcou have it around the midfield. That's their midfielder, Paul McGrath. Looking for uh, he was looking for the ball, gives it now, and it's the wing half back or it's the centre half back Owen Shields who tries to find Kieran Flaherty. Just a bit of pressure on Kieran Flaherty from Ryan Rooney, and he's dropped the ball. And now mm -hmm. Newtown have it turned over, but just as I say that, there Belcou <laughs> with a the hand in and a scoring opportunity, they're going to give it to the number 20 Killalee who had that first ball. Josh Killalee unleashed the shot, as well, maybe. gone to ground. Referee Carl Bradshaw says it's going to be a free. If I was Josh Killalee, I'd take two steps closer to goal. He was very close uh, there, and and wasn't much in that. But Carl Bradshaw seems to be quite sure that it's going to be uh it's going to be a free kick Do on the too excited anyway. You no, know, on, <laughs> on the on the on the twenty one metre line. So Belcou with an opportunity to respond to the uh, to, to that goal. You'd have to be disappointed because he had turned the ball over and within two seconds. Like who would turn them over? So it's I suppose it's, it's, it's a loose pass, yeah. really. Th and there's been a few loose passes, um, very simple passes that should be nailed onto the chest. But yeah, yeah, that was a score from the number 17, who is Connor McAloon. Put yeah. that over the bar, so it's now five points to Belcou, one three to First for Manas, one point between the teams. Kick out going to come from goalkeeper Tian O'Dowd. I'd imagine if any of this first. 15 minutes is anything to go by it's going to be tit for tat for the whole game both teams probably are well you're going to have to make use of the breeze as yeah. well for Belcou to yeah. be in front with that strong breeze that's well broken down it was James Connolly anticipating the break fists it forward to Connor Courtney and away uh, Newtown go again Courtney goes to ground two players around him possibly through the ball there referee Carl Bradshaw seen it and it's going to be a free out for Belcou he'll be happy with that because the Link up play in midfield went well for Bel for Newtown, but Belcou have handled that there. Now they're going forward with Dean McDermott. He gives it to Killian Murray. He scored two points off the left foot earlier on. He's now looking to looking for a support player. Looks as if it's going to be the midfielder, James McGrath. And now it's James McGrath on the 45 metre line looking up for his options. He finds the number 17, who is Connor McAloon. And McAloon left footed, hitting that ball in over the bar. Two points inside a minute for Connor McAloon. And suddenly the team are back to level yeah it's a uh, but who can find the holes in the new town defense anyway Charlie and, and they are taking the points from distance too they are and they seem to be content with even if this if the ball is now fourth time they're, they're recycling the ball and they're, they're happy to hold on with um good open game it is it like is yeah it's like two they talk about the boxing going toe to toe well, or blow for blow at the moment now Kick out from goalkeeper Kian O'Dowd coming towards this side of the field. It's 2v2 in there, broken down. Kieran oh, Flaherty had the ball, but it was knocked out of his hands. Now it's Ryan Rooney. He's sneaked in to pick that up. Now he's been turned over. Dean McDermott gives it to Flaherty, and now it's Belcou on the attack. Killian Murray using his body well, gets it up at the second time of asking. I see new kind of a sweeper back, which leaves a player free on that far side of the field. It's Paul McGrath, and McGrath looks to find... Uh, one of the colleagues from the forward line it goes to number 17 Connor McAlooney's after hitting two good scores inside a couple of minutes and now there's a free Bell Kuman on this side of the field it's Owen Shields finds him inside the 45 metre line he flicks it forward I think that's Dean McDermott the number 5 on his back gives it to Flaherty and Bell Coo are starting to go away for goal but Kieran Flaherty finds the space swings the right leg at it and that's over the bar 7 points to Bell Coo 1-3 to Newtown and Bell Coo have got themselves back in front here Good use of the width of the pitch, really, because Belcou went from one side to the other. When you have got a sweeper back in that instance, is the ball into the forward, mate and beyond. But if you can drag the team from one side to the other, gaps will appear. And away we go again in midfield. It's uh, number 15, Jer O'Keefe. He's come out to win that breaking ball. Gives it to Ryan Carson there to the full-back. Gareth Fox over to that far side of the field where James Connolly is. Looks up, gets away from the challenge. He's going to hit that left-footed inside, looking to find Jermyn King. King gets his hand up to signal that he's won looking for the mark on the 21-metre line. Does well, took that ball at a kind of it was diving and he had to stoop low to get it as well.
and which was hit by uh, Dermot King. That's another score for him. Three points he's got in this first half. It's now 1-4 to seven points. Kick out coming here now, and it was Killian Murray going up against Connor Quinn. And Connor Quinn has the ball now. It's Connor Courtney going forward, right footed over the bar on the 13 metre lane. That's the score. And now the score line reads 1 5 to Newtown Butler, 7 points to Bell Coo. Newtown have taken the lead, but probably a bit of concern here now as Connor Quinn is down in front of us. Yeah, I've, I've seems winded if, if, if nothing else. We were talking before, the, um, just before the match, and we went through the teams, and you asked me who Connor Quinn was. He has probably been, probably been his best year this year. Conor Quinn says he's our most improved player. Um, and it'll be a good battle, let's say, for the rest of the game between him and uh, Killian Murray, if he keeps on him. But uh, it's good to see him back up on his feet. So that's Conor Quinn back up and the goalkeeper, who is uh, Gary Doherty, is going to kick this out here now. Garth Fox, but the ball's been picked up by Belcu. Uh, and it's the midfielder, uh, it's the midfielder Paul McGrath giving it over here now. It's back to McGrath. He's got a support runner. That was Dara Flanagan. McGrath keeps and it. Switch ball spreads again. the play over to this side of the field. We've seen it in the last score. It's gone to Owen Shields. Shields faced by the midfielder. He finds the inside forward. Now it's back to Shields again. Gets the ball. Eventually it comes to Killian Murray. Left footed gives it plenty of height. Looks the direction looks not too he bad either. He's got it. In, no. He had plenty of power behind it. Just didn't win from this he time. Wade. Odd one Wade. It went wide, it did. That ball is always on though for Belcu, that switch ball. Of yeah. Play and they, um, they seem to fancy it. It's, it's working for them because it's getting them in behind. Now a bit of concern for one of the B number 15 for them, who is Lawrence McKeown, is down. He is receiving a bit of attention here now and seems worse for wear after that. It could that. be something similar to Conor Quinn, maybe up, up this end. They maybe just got a belt, maybe off the ball, but hopefully he's all right. Well, the medical teams with him and Carl Bradshaw is there as well, making sure that everything goes to plan. But uh, just well, we have got this uh, this break. Are you talking about the game? Pretty open. It is there's pretty open. Um, I'm sure there's a lot the managers will be happy with, and there's plenty of them. There's plenty of things that they'd like to improve I on. I think there's been plenty of mistakes and plenty of mistakes that can be avoidable. I mean, yeah. I know from a Newtown point of view, just there's been a few loose passes and he's been turned over a few times. In the in the middle of a field, and I'd say Belku would be the same. Um, but I mean, it's very very even at the moment. It was always going to be even, in my opinion, because I, th I think both teams yeah. over the last couple of years there hasn't been a big play between them. And it just goes through the difference too, really, because uh, we were talking earlier on about uh, Belku using. They have definitely used the breeze too with their long kicking ball in. I can see. Newtown are going to do something similar in the second half because every time James yeah. Connolly gets the ball, he's looking to deliver it to Dermot King. Now it might mightn't be a high ball in all the time, but I'd say now probably from the Belcu side that they would like to be maybe a few points. I know what there's seven minutes of normal time left or until the half, but I'd say Belcu would like to get a bit of a cushion in at half time with that breeze because it probably will die down a bit. Um, now Lawrence McKeown still down. He's still, I think it's Lawrence McKeown is still down. Receiving a bit of a uh, treatment here. He's back to his feet, however gingerly, but uh, there all, all right. Seven minutes to, to go to half time. Was. You were seeing, so if he can, it, it used to be a thing. Run it off for yeah. a while, and then <laughs> he'll get a bit of a break at 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 half time. But kick out comes here now from goalkeeper Keane O'Dowd going long one v one in there, and it's been won eventually by the wing half back. Now it comes to the full back Naya Leonard, real stalwart for Belcou. The Leonard name. There used to be a time when uh, three or four of them playing. Oh, uh, maybe six or seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play continues now, and it's into that corner. For it's Lawrence McKeown. He's got himself dusted off, and now it's over to Kieran Flaherty and back here now to Connor McAloon on that far oh, side of the field. The solo got away from him. Just that. Basic that sort of hand and errors, again, yeah. you know, uh, allowing the other team to it's go in both and, teams. And, and pick the ball now. And uh, it's uh, Newtown with their centre half back, who's Jimmy McCaffrey. He goes forward. That ball has not going to carry. Must have hit the referee, it it? Hit the referee uh, because I was just thinking how it, it, it <laughs> was seen to be running out of, running out of gas there. <laughs> but um, it's going to be thrown up by referee Carl Bradshaw. It seems as if it's going to be Killian Murray and Ryan Carson. Ryan Carson, the wily old warrior, but uh, one of the Belcoo players nipped in there, which was probably an quick. infringement. 
Ryan, want to get back into the game because Valkyrie are attacking here? Aye, in them instances, there's no point in telling no. the referee your opinion because no. they don't play on that. So, Belcu have it. Now, cross-field ball to the far side of the field. It's uh, Paul McGrath. Had a support runner gone past him. Now, he's flicking it inside where Lawrence McKeown has this. He's been chased by the full back. He's Garrett Fox. On the turn, that Wide was ball. Lawrence McKeown. Gone wide again. So, two wides in a row there for Belcu. Struggling just to get the equalisation score. It still remains Newtown. 1-5, Belcu, 7 points here as we're ticking towards half-time. Neither team seem to be fit to get a 10 or 5 or 10 minute spell where they can push on. It's no, it's still all tit for tat. Point tit for tat so. And I don't, not too many of the teams have strung three scores together no. in a row either. That's credit to the opposing team. But kick-out's coming here now from Keane O'Dowd. It's going between Sean Conlon. He does well. Conlon catches that there. He's got about, he must have 6 inches anyway on... Um, on uh, Owen Shields delivers that ball inside now and it's Jer O'Keefe here but he wants to get it back to the left foot gives it to Connor Courtney and Courtney s can just about slide the ball oh, and it's Jer O'Keefe following it in uh, goalkeeper Gary Doherty had done well he to save it save him couldn't get himself done. picked up quick enough and uh, to credit to Jer O'Keefe who was following that in goal was empty blasted the ball to the net and it's now 2-5 to first for Manas. Seven points to Belcu and it's the first time that a, uh, a big lead has been opened up in this game and now it's the first for Manas turning over the ball again it's Ryan Carson hitting that in Hey, It's bouncing in around there and it's dangerous. Jero O'Keefe just after getting that goal. He's fighting for it. He nearly gets it again. It's ah. another goal. Another goal. That was... Uh, I think that's Sean Milani that time. Sean Milani were number 13. The ball in. Belcu didn't deal with it. Um, but and we were talking about how close the game was. It's torn very quickly. It's double <laughs> scores now. Three, score. three, five is fourteen if my maths is correct, and seven points to Belcu. That ball's gone over the head of Ray and Rooney here, and Flaherty picks it up now. Belcu need to get a score here quickly. Dean McDermott's going forward. He's got Lawrence McKeown in there. They really do need a score here now, and it's Lawrence McKeown gets around Jimmy McCaffrey trying to flick that ball in. Dean just looking, but it's been picked up by the Newtown defence. And they're able to break out here now. Ryan Carson, he's got four or five players ahead of him. He's got support players coming behind him. That was Jimmy McCaffrey. Tries to find the wing half forward, who is Connor Quinn. And uh, it's a it's a bit of a tussle yeah, in there between... Jason Flanagan just pushed him. Uh, pu pushed Josh Killalee. Yeah, in the back there. Killalee wins, uh, wins his free. And now Belcu are on the move here now. This is Lawrence McKeown with a bit of time and space. Looks to deliver the ball into Kieran Flaherty. Flaherty. Picks the ball up. I think he's got Ray and uh, he Ray is and Ray and Rooney, Rooney chasing him. Flaherty trying to hit that ball in. Hasn't come around. No. And that's three points in a row for Belcu. Just back to that goal from Newtown, not the, their second goal. It all came from Sean Connell catching the ball in the middle of the field. Yeah. And, you know, I think we were talking with Sean just before the game. He's only 18, but he's, uh, he's playing like a man that's been playing senior football for over 10 years. Scoreline now reads first for Manus, 3 5, Belcu, 7 points. And it's going to be the goalkeeper, Keen O'Dowd. This, of course, was Belcu playing with the breeze in the first half, and he's going long again. Now it's Ryan Carson. Barry McGovern does well to break that down. Now it's Killian Murray going forward. Space is starting up in front, in front of him. He's bearing down on goal. Killian Murray, goal chance, oh left footed. Oh, big goal into the Belcu net. there, get them back into the game. 1 7 to 3 5, and the. Uh, Belcou needed that they day. Did, if they, they did, did not get the no, next score, it gets them right back into the game now. I, I, it was common to be honest with you, um, Kieran. Well, without a doubt, I mean, they Belcou have been dangerous on that break. And and Killian Murray did well. He had Ryan Carson chasing him, and maybe a couple of other boys as well. He was just he's able been to impressive. Show them. So he has. He's yeah, one two, one two he's, he's got, got from play. It's he's definitely shown well for Belcou now. Kick out again from Keane O'Dowd. Now that ball was won by Jason Flanagan. He's looking to hit the cross field ball to James Connolly. Has got uh, Dara Flanagan with him again. And now it's back to Dermot King. Got out in front of Jared McHugh. King looks to get inside. Gives it over here to his colleague from the full forward line who was Jero O'Keefe. Now it's back to Connor Courtney. Going to look for this right footed. Goalkeeper Gary Doherty comes out. He gets clattered by uh, James Connolly. That's going to be. The goalkeeper's down. You're going to probably get a bit of uh, attention here now. Goal referee Carl Bradshaw seems to be talking to uh, James Connolly and seems like it's going to be a ticking. Looks like it all right. I don't think there was a much in it now. Um, maybe James just followed in. He was a bit late. But 
Conor Courtney's shot selection was poor there. Uh, uh, I did. Should have done better inside. You know, Conor be disappointed with himself because he'd fancy himself from in that range. Well, but that was a big goal for Belcoody getting right back into it. And <laughs> definitely, Killian Murray has been one of their forwards who have it shown has. well. So goalkeeper Gary Doherty has uh, is still there and receiving a bit of attention here now. We're definitely won't be taking very close towards half time. Thirty-one minutes. Uh, Thirty-one minutes played. Watch, yeah. You see. Going to real, in fairness, there'll be a couple of minutes of additional time as well. We had a long injury for Lawrence yeah. McKeown down here. A couple of other little breaks. But uh, there could still be three or four minutes left. And I mean, if Belcou can get another get another point, yeah, we'd only leave a three-point no, well difference at uh, at half-time. I know for, um, just from a Newtown point of view, I think if they were going at half-time and hadn't conceded that goal, they'd be very uh, pleased. They would be very pleased. Put a pleased. bit of a dent into it all right now, but... I mean, I'm just thinking half time will be a right length because it'll take them a couple of minutes by the time they walk from I'd here to there. I'd be surprised if they go over there yeah, well, they just well go into the corner to I the field. I suppose in an evening like that, they're to be ashamed to be sitting inside it's for right. 10 minutes. <laughs> so, goalkeeper Gary Doherty is still down, getting a bit, a bit of. I, thought, but I, I didn't think that there was much in it, but maybe he was caught It can it. be these professional moves as well to take yeah. the sting out of the, the game as well. You can never write that off no. in, in, in these instances, but. I mean, th these breaks in play, it also gives an opportunity for teams to change it momentum does, as well. So now just it's it just takes this sting out of things, uh, as you say, Keon. Um. And that was full-back, Niall Leonard coming out, giving it to James McGrath, and it's Belcou still spreading that over to the far side of the field. Dangerous enough ball if Jordan McHugh does not win that first time, but he did, and now he's released Dara Flanagan over there. Flanagan's been chased by Dermot King. King gets him dispossessed, but Fl uh, Dara Flanagan fights hard to get it. Oh, that's come out of the hands of Dean McDermott, and that was a well turned over rash in challenge. Defense, now to be fair. It's the full-back James Maguire. He and again, it was a loose pass. Yeah, was well, pass that was... That was loose in the extreme because it was way over the head. Was. But these things happen. You have to. They do. You have to roll with the punches, as they say. And that wind is stronger than. It is picking up all think. right. So uh, two players down now. It's James McGuire and the uh, number seven, who is Dara Flanagan. For Belcu, both the players, not nothing, no serious injury. Just catching, no. catching their breath. If it's nothing else, maybe a bit of a bang in the leg, but. Not much that a medical person no. can do for the like of that there. Only maybe put a bit of ice on it or spray or something like that's that. That's right. Gives the referee, Carl Bradshaw, an opportunity to have a chat with the players as well. I mean, referees, sometimes when they can see niggling or anything like that there, a, a, a quiet word in the it year does no, harm. does no harm as well. Um. Players often talk about working the referee, but the referee can work the players can, as well. So, no, no, James McGuire... Carroll, Carroll isn't the worst of the referees now. James McGuire's back to his feet. Hobbling, I would call See it. That, but right. it's a one of these things where you kind of have to, 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 to run it off. Dara Flanagan is still down. And yeah, He was possibly lucky to get over there to Carroll, to be he honest. Was, because he was. The two of them's hurting their legs, so it better be a... a I don't think Carroll's went for the book this half. No, he's, he's, he's let it go yeah. as best he can. So, play continues now, and it's with the midfielder who is um, the midfielder, Jason Flanagan, Newtown now. Probably a dip in the Newtown play in the last couple of minutes. That goal has taken the wind out of their sails totally. Um, I think that totally came against the runner player. But so away we go again, it's the full back who is Gareth Fox, breaking forward, he's been chased by Owen Shields, and Gareth Fox fists that ball forward, looking to find Dermot King, Dermot King and Jared McHugh, McHugh gets a hand on him, but Dermot King left footed, get that ball over the bar, now it's 3-6, which is 15 to 1-7 at 10, so five points between the teams, Bilku really could do with another score could, or two yeah, before half time. There is half time That's half time there that. now from referee Carl Bradshaw. So, an enjoyable first half, Charlie. Very open. Very good open game, Kieran. Um, it's been very we've enjoyable seen, so far. We've seen good scores. Yeah. We've seen um, loose passing. It's something that you kind of, towards this time of the year, this is when the managers look to try to eliminate the yeah. leg of that there because you're going towards the championship and you it's cannot. In the corner. Yeah, you cannot, uh, uh, you know, lose possession like that there. But. 
food for thought for both of the managers. There's no doubt about that. Newtown will obviously be the happier when in fi- is it five up? Or five up points up against um, the breeze. That that goal will definitely have taken the sting out of it. I know back who haven't played that bad. It's just those two quick fire goals that um yeah. have put them five points behind. But I I'd, st- I'd say that there's still all the play for you know, it's still definitely not over yet. There's no doubt about it. Now we have a lovely scene here where the uh, I seen during the week that the Newtown Club were in, Newtown Butler Club were encouraging the youngsters to bring their ball to yeah. go out at half time. New, new t- uh, the the from both clubs to go out and play amongst their. Oh, it's great to see. Um, I mean, this this field has been coming for a long time, and I suppose on the on the. Yeah, in 2015, in the speeches earlier on, I yeah. heard it's when the field was purchased originally, and then yeah. now that it's, it's finally done, it's another pronty pitch, it's a great facility okay. to have, it and is. modern clubs need two fields. You do, yeah, you do, and it's, it's great to get all the kids out, because that's what the whole f- G is about, get them out and get a football in their hands and get them out and playing, so let everybody enjoy it. Very good, so with that there, we will take a, a short break here on... Growing up, my father Michael was chairman and manager, and I remember following him as a club dragging a large brown suitcase containing the jerseys laundered by my mother. She even ironed them, and that was with a twin tub when she was washing them. And there was only one set of jerseys. The juniors played first, and the seniors played the same set of jerseys on afterwards. Thank God we didn't sweat in those days. And there wasn't a single set of togs that were the same. One man made a black togs, another by a green togs, and you often heard somebody say, any man for a spare pair of boots. Could you imagine that now? That one set of jerseys. The common part of the kit was the old red and white. That was the thing that stood out for us. Remember going out to the old pitch, out to come low. The corrugated iron hut with the nails to hang your clothes on. Such was part of life, a togging out in the hedge. There was no sponsored kids, no training cops, and lovely bags, and gum shields. And in those days, a hamstring was something that tied a gammon. No one had ever heard of a hamstring before. The development of our games the present day, from all the rates, and this incredible success that we have now, and of the ladies, the heart of this club, in so many ways. Sometimes, in the past, the ladies went by our house more often with trophies in the back and glory than Daddy's hay. They won so many in the past. We all have made a gap of gratitude to all the generations and individuals who made this club what it actually is. From the Rover visiting the city, collecting at the gap, which was the entrance to the park, with the 50 pieces of the 10 ball bin being put into the Rover visiting the for the collection at the beginning of the game. Together with my brother Mark and Reynolds Martin and my father, I remember one Sunday spending out there gathering stones in that pitch 36 years ago. But the now the splendour of a prompt pitch, out of the ladies to the field to see his granddaughter Molly, captain for Mana last Sunday in Croke Park. Just a little agenda, I actually did. Molly's parents wedding, but to keep it ecumenical, I'm doing the captain of the anthem team's wedding next year. The ancient parish of Galoon, despite its small population, has for 51 years sustained two clubs in the one parish. That has led to some civil meetings down through the years. My work at peace and reconciliation is a lot easier than some of the times playing against the past. That only could be possible, though, with the commitment of all the inspirational people. For my generation, coupled with the present leadership, this club is in very safe hands. O'Neill's commission the one-off jersey that I'm wearing tonight commemorates my silver jubilee of ordination. And when we claim Crowpatrick to raise funds for MS and for Marie Curie, I was very proud, if not a little embarrassed, to see women and men from this club go all the way from Mayo, coming from Dublin and all over, to pass me by and to climb the summit of the reef. 
This evening too we scale a different mountain. Thanks to the Gales throughout our land and beyond in fundraising and supporting this development. I will shortly bless this pitch, but we are truly blessed, we ourselves, to be present to witness this great facility, including the lovely walkway, minus dogs, I might add. Like the inspirational GEA manager who once said, and you have to be a heel to understand this, at half time when his team was losing, he said, right boys, in the second half it's going to be like this, keep the high balls low, spread out into a bunch, and remember the three C's, courage, conviction, and determination. Dedicated to all who have done the red and white jersey of the first from Ennis. The women, the men, the children, the officials, the supporters, young and old, living in the seas. Remember this. Remember this, Craig. Remember you walk on the shoulders of giants. Remember how proud it is to don this jersey. This isn't any ordinary jersey. This is not professionalism to be paid. You cannot pick your team. You're born into your parish. You wear this with the pride. So every time you put that on, remember what it means and who you are. Belonging is what it's about. Give us, O oh Lord, well-owned skills, with strength of arm and speed of limb, on airing eye for the flying ball, and courage to match them, whatever be fall. May our aim be steady, our kick be true, our actions brave, our misses few. And no matter what way the game may go, may we part in friendship with every foe. And when the final whistle is blown, may we stand at last at God's judgment throne. May the great referee say when he calls our name, you give your best, you play the game. I will bless the pitch now, and at the end I would say to this, as our honorary president, one of the three, as Philip would say, New Town, New Town, it is the place for us. First for Manus, Abu. I bless you all now.
And you're welcome back here now to Park Quivenahan on Cananach for Gear for the second half of this Crust and Crumb Division 2 game. We made a startling discovery at half time, Jarlath, when we found out the scoreline is uh, 3 6 to Newtown Butler, 1 6 to Bell Coo. So there's six points between the teams. So 3 6 plays 1 6. And a couple of other half time scores just that we've seen as well. In Division 1, Rosley 1 3, Devney 6 points. Uh, Derry Lynn, two points. Bellalek, four. Derry Gunny, eight. St. Pat's, two. And in some of the other games in Division Two, we have Irvinstown, eight points. Maguire's Bridge, one, two. So those are some of the half time scores to our knowledge. Anyway, Co didn't field against Lissinski, and we can't get a score for Tempo against Brookborough or Adam C against uh, Adam Timor. Adam C, one point. Timor, two, ten. Half time. So, second half underway, referee Carl Bradshaw throws it up now and it's Ryan Carson hitting this ball in, first time that bounce as well, it's going to be picked up by Conor Courtney, he gives it back to James McGuire, going to shoot the left footed kick, hitting that ball in rightly, Good first score of the second Connelly. half and that's James Connolly. 3-7 now to 1-6 and that's really absolutely everything Belcu did not need. No, Belcu did not want that at all. Um, it's ominous, really, for they what... They need to get a couple of scores rolled off here soon or else this game can get away from them very quickly. That is one over there by the cornerback, Riri O'Keefe. He's battling hard now. It's Ryan Carson getting away from three Belcu players. Left-footed, hitting that ball in, going in dangerous. Score, and that's Ryan over the bars. Another score. That's the trademark Ryan Carson score there outside of the left boot. That is right. He's been doing that a long he time. Has. Three, uh, three, eight to one, six. And that definitely is not the start Belcu wanted. No, if Belcu don't get a score pretty quickly... It could be, it, 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 this game could run away from them. The long kick out comes in. It's another turned over ball, but that's a bit of tackling done by Dean McDermott. Newtown eventually pick it up here now, and it's the wing half back, Ryan Rooney, breaking forward. He has got a support runner from Connor Courtney. The game, it's the play opens up in front of him. Courtney, right footed over the bar. Three early points. Three scores in a row in the first one and a half minutes. Four uh, first for Manas <laughs> and it's now 3-9 to 1-6. That has opened up a nine point uh, 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 nine point lead it here and now. And it is ominous now for Belcu. Um, Newtown have started really well. I mean, it's not, the, the breeze seems to have died down. It's just pure hunger, I yeah. think, here and that's, I mean, they well, won a couple of break balls. The that's it, turning over the kickouts. Yeah. And, Belcu are a bit punch drunk of here they because were. their their D is nearly There's somewhat. Newtown have it away again, I think. They're in again. And it's Newtown again. That's through the hands, gives it to the wing ha to the corner four forward. It's Connor Courtney for or uh, Sean Milani indeed. Four in a row fisted over the bar. Good fast hands. Dermot King was heading away from goal, so he had the present yep. of mind to give it to Sean Milani, who was heading in. And that's uh, another point three ten now to uh, three ten to new t to first for Manas and one six to Belcu. Well, he can well, need, need a kick out now. That has been that. won by their uh, by the wing half back Dara Flanagan. He looks to chip it forward and it's back here now with the number seventeen who is um, Connor McAloon. McAloon got two scores he in did two minutes. Near the end very of the first half. Yeah, yeah. and now it's all in there to Lawrence McKeown. He goes to ground, still retains the ball, gives it to the number twenty four who is uh, Ethan Butler and Butler hits that it's ball in on the right foot. Four. And like who needed that? If ever there was a score needed yeah. in Belcu now three ten to one seven. So, 
So Belku have got their first score of the second half and it's uh, goalkeeper Kean O'Dowd who's uh, lining up to take this here now. He went long with a lot of his kickouts in the first half and that was kind of nearly against the breeze. Yeah. Now he's playing with it. He's going to go long again. That's Great bread and butter for Sean Connan. He gets... He gets around quickly too. He wins his free now. He's going to hit that ball over to the far side of the field to Jero Keith. Kind of bounces off Jero Keith's shoulder. And Belku of that turned over. Barry McGovern's over there. So is Kieran Flaherty. And I think that's Owen. It's uh, it's McAloon indeed um, who's going to get that there. And Belku still have it back to Barry McGovern here now. McGovern has got his num the number 20 who is um, Josh Killalee on this side of the feed. Will Coo probably need another score. That was Sean Conlon putting a challenge in on uh, Josh Killalee. Now it's back to Barry McGovern. Maybe a bit of the momentum has been lost from the Will Coo attack. This thing has been taken out of it all right. But Will Coo not mind that from the first half. They did create a good yeah, few scores. They went from side to side. They've they committed a lot of players forward here now, Belcu. So it's in the hands of the centre half back, Owen Shields. They are playing an advantage. If Owen Shields knew that the there, there now, yeah. yeah, he had to take a shot. Now it's the free in, difficult enough free. It's, it's this going. This is a big one for Belcu because by no means will it get them right back in. It, but I mean, they need every, every score. Oh, that it they can would get, get them slightly closer would, back into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Probably going to be Killian Murray who's going to take this. It seems to be as if it's and going to be in the Killian twenty-one. Murray, all right. It's only ten. It's about ten meters inside That's the inside the side lane, so it's definitely a wide angle. He's plenty of he's plenty of ground to swing it back in anyway. He, uh, he hit two good scores in the first half. Was uh, did Killian Murray? He's so a handful, so he is. He like he's, he's he's got all the size and he's uh, he's big and athletic. Yeah, good left foot. Uh, uh, interesting routine. Hits that in. And if that's score, what works, yeah. Yeah, good score. yeah it's he, he strikes me as a very spontaneous footballer. Yeah, just yeah he has a shot. Shoot on sight. And, and then he, but, you know, he's definitely one that needs watching. Another score anyway, 1 8 to 3 10. So two points in a row for Belcu that they really did need. So 3 10 is 19, 1 8 is 11. Still eight points between the teams. I mean, if you were looking, if you were to tell an. Uh, Newtown Butler person now that they were eight points in front you'd be expecting them to see this Sean. out that was Sean Conlon doing well he's won two good two good kick outs he's looking to hit that in to Dermot King King's out in front of Jared McHugh's got a bit of space right footed that's screwed off his foot and that's gone wide Jim will be disappointed with that he uh, probably had again more time than he thought and there was runners off him but yeah it's great feeling by Sean Conlon that's two good kick outs he's yeah. won in yeah. the last couple of minutes. And I'll tell you one thing as well, for a good evening, it's not a bit warm. No, uh, so I might the jacket at half time. In the last couple of minutes, that's bounced off of um, Connor McAloon. And now away we go with Ryan Carson. Got a, he's already got a point in this second half. He's got two players around him. Barry McGovern's uh, giving him hell in there, but Carson got a shot away. And now it's come back in here to James Connolly, who's gone to ground. That'll be a big worry for Belcu, I think, if just by six, seven minutes going in the second half. They aren't winning enough breaking ball. I think Newton have mopped up a lot, and it's a sign of a team that's hungry. And mm. Belcu need to be hungry, or else this game will pass them by. And we did. We talked about Belcu that you know Belcu are ahead of uh, Newtown yeah, in the league, yeah. and we talked about the teams. New Belcu have still to play Tempo and Timor before yeah. the end of this here. Whereas it's by no means an easy run in. There. Yeah, you, you Newtown has got Timor and, and then Maguire's Bridge. Bridge. Um, so we were talking at half time there. Irvinstown were eight points to one two up against Maguire's Bridge. That the ball was kicked by in by Dermot King, and that's gone over the bar. So that's another point. Three eleven brings uh, Newtown's uh, brings the first from Manos up to twenty points. And scoring difference again is could it could be important it if you will. have a couple of teams finishing in the same yeah, amount of points. I think um, I know. Belcoo are a point ahead of Newtown, but they have a definitely a higher score. Yeah, nope they have so a now. Here's a sh opportunity for Connor, Co oh, Connor, Courtney. Connor Courtney. It got away from him. He, he threw on well. it, and he's put that into the net. So yes. that's another goal. Four eleven now to one eight, and um, with five five or seven minutes seven gone, and a half minutes gone. Second half. Second half. It's uh, it's ominous looking now for Belcoo to be honest. It was a great finish by Connor. Uh, it's probably his soccer side coming out there more. Connor has. Yeah, I think he scored both of the goals. He's he been did. sort of soccer yeah, goals. Yeah, I think that's is that three Connor has now. He got the penalty he as well. Uh, he Two did. He play. got the penalty. The other goals were by um, 
Sean Milani got one and Jero Keith. Oh, I okay. have it down, got the other yeah, one. So enough, turned yeah. over and away we go with uh, the first for Manas again now. It's their uh, it's the wing half back it's centre half back Jimmy McCaffrey. Hits it in Nair Leonard. Uh, he's safe as houses in there, he gives is, it no, to Nair Leonard's usually very strong on under those high balls and you don't want to get into a tussle with Nair Leonard is He's strong in there. You do not. Gives it now, and it's Kieran Flaherty. He gets around Ryan Rooney, and Flaherty, he bounces off uh, Jimmy McCaffrey and wins his free, looking to deliver it early. Uh, so the support is starting to come up, but it's how it comes back here now to the uh, wing halfback, who's Dara Flanagan. He hits it over to uh, Paul McGrath, and Belcou still through the hands there. Um, it, it's patient, but it is. But I don't <laughs> haven't time to be patient I don't at this say stage. I haven't got time, but yeah, yeah that's <laughs> Lawrence. definitely against them. Lawrence McKeown wins a, a a mark just inside the uh, thirteen meter line. This is a good opportunity to put the ball over the bar. That probably is going to have to. Um, it'll be food for thought for the new town management. How often Belcou, despite the ponderous nature maybe of their play, they could still find a gap to still deliver find a, a ball in. That is a worry, and even. Even after the, that goal that Newtown got it there, just there, by coming back up and um, the score. Another and score, but they mark that down. 1-9, one 1-9 nine, one nine to four eleven. They definitely won't go away easy, Belcou. And like any time we play Belcou over the years, they're always there and they give you a good fight. Yeah, well, as Kieran Flaherty chips that ball over now and it's away into the hands of the substitute who is uh, number... I think it's Josh Killalee who has that now. It's Killian Murray chipping the ball over here to the substitute to come on. Left foot, right footed, hitting that bad ball in. Oh, it's went away. That but was um, that one. Ethan and Butler. And there was a gap there in the Newtown defence that if Belcou had a saw, I think the six yeah. was free and 24 was free. If they had it locked up, there was a chance of a goal. But I just wouldn't write Belcou off just yet. Belcou still have dangerous players on the attack. Well, I don't think anyone can co can say you're biased then, Charlie. But <laughs> no, four, four 11 to, 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 to <laughs> one eight. Yeah, uh, what's that? Tw 11, 12 points. Now, look at it does happen, but uh, I'd say if Belcourt, they're going to have to win this kick out, and that's exactly what they've done. This is Dara Flanagan gets away from the challenge of James. Connolly and Flanagan's doing well going down the centre. He's been chased by Sean Connolly. Connolly gets a hand in, picked up nicely by uh, uh, Lawrence McKeown. He raids the tackle and he's got the free in. So it's going to be a free in, which uh, Paul McGrath was going to take quickly. Didn't happen. It's going to. He's still looking to take it quickly. He's looking to slide that inside, quickly. and there is two, three, three, there was three Belcou players in there, looking for goals. Oh, goal we wished, hold on, fifteen. That was uh, Lawrence McKeown who got that there. Two That's eleven, not over yet. two four, four eleven plays two eight. Back to nine. That's back correct. to uh, yeah. I know we could need back to we could need an abacus at this stage to try back and to eight. Maybe not a eight. I think two. Nine. Two nine, I make it for Belcou. Yeah. Um and four eleven to uh, to the first for Manas. If Belcou do win it's gonna be a they very high scoring game kick anyway. Kick and they they've won another kick out in their way on the march. This is Dara Flanagan, he's got up. Paul McGrath. Oh, here we go. Kieran Kieran Flaherty hits that ball oh, left footed. It wasn't far away. It wasn't far away, wasn't but far it was away. the it was his wrong foot. He's had a player on the other side of the yeah. goals, but it just goes to show you that Belcou are punching holes in the they in are. the Newtown defence, and that was disappointing. If that had been a goal. Newtown just need to take the sting out of things a bit, you know, just to kinda because Belcou definitely even though they're so far behind, they've definitely got their tails up. They have. The go it's going to take more scores, though, to keep the momentum going. When the, but that's, a good Sean, yeah. that's three good catches he's made in the second half. And he has got that away now. It's James Connolly on this side of the field. He's going to want it left-footed. There's no doubt about that. Barry McGovern's going over to him. Uh, Barry McGovern come away now. That ball's dropped short. And Jared Doherty picks that up. Gives it to Naya Leonard. Now Naya Leonard gives it here to Jared McHugh on this side of the field. He's got support in front of him. I think it's Dara Flanagan. Gives it to Dara Flanagan. Two Newtown boys go after him. Gives it back to Naya Leonard. And Naya Leonard finds Barry McGovern. Spins away from that challenge. Gives it over here now to Dean McDermott. Well. 
Belcou have got away from that there now. It's Kieran Flaherty. He has got Owen Shields here. Flicks it to Shields. Shields back to Flaherty again. That was a good run by Ethan Butler. Draws a bit of space for Kieran Flaherty. He gives it now to Owen to Owen Shields. And it's over here now to Lawrence McKeown. He was going to hit a no-look shot. Takes a look eventually. Hits Pull that ball like. in. It, yeah, I thought McCoy it would be... needed a, that one too. They did, yeah. Well, he did well not to hit yeah. it. Uh, he, he seemed as if he was going to hit it straight away. And he did make him slightly better angle indeed. I thought it might have come off a, a new town hand, but the ball's gone wide anyway. The scoreline still remains 2-9 to 4-11 here. Kieran Flaherty is a Belkou stalwart and he's getting through his ferocious amount of work. And you have to give your, take your hat off to him. Like he's putting in a ferocious shift there. Without a doubt. For his hard running off the ball and with the ball. Goalkeeper Keane O'Dowd's going long. Ryan Carson's up for that there, but Owen Shields won the break. It slides away from him and he was trying to give it to Paul McGrath, but that's gone away from Paul McGrath. And now it's Connor Courtney picks it up just in front of the Pronty pitch saying he gives it to Ryan Carson. Carson spins around, gives it over here now, and it's come to the midfielder who is uh, Sean Conlon now. Sean Conlon, a la Belcou in the first half, was trying to spread the play over, but that's gone away and it's been picked up by the substitute who nearly is uh, Ethan Butler. Nearly lost it, but he's got it back. That's Jared McHugh coming over here now to Dean McDermott and away Bell Coo go again. They probably need to score from this they attack do, yeah. Yeah, because it's just been it's been now. two minutes or so from they got their last score. And if they're going to keep this march and this momentum up, they're definitely going to need another score. Now it's in the hands of Neil Leonard. Neil Leonard's looking for the support who is uh, number 25. That's Anthony Kerrigan. Now it's come to Paul McGrath. He's got a gap and he's exploiting that there. Gives it to Dean McDermott. Back to Killian Murray. And this is good hand pass. And there's a goal chance on here now. It's the full it's the midfielder. Slid that ball along the ground. Happened, Paul kind of missed kicked that ball. He I did, but and, and as it rolled along the, the ground, it took the whole the took the whole bait yeah. out of it. And the fancy Paul to bury that there now. You were well it was he was just lining save. up. I was expecting him to put a hole in that nice new net. But anyway, <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, it's been turned over and away we go with Ray and Rooney. He's running a lot of the field here. Kieran Flaherty's toe for toe with him though. Flaherty turns that ball over, tries to knock the ball off Dermot King. Dermot King has it. He's under a bit of pressure here now, comes out towards midfield. That was a shoulder in the back, but the referee, oh, referee said play on. away. You know, it's Belcou. Uh, it's in the hands of um, Connor McAloon, and now it's away. We go to that far side of the field. There's two Belcou players, one of them is the goalkeeper. Now it's Dean McDermott here on that far side of the field. As the, the, as the game, the players are starting to tear, I things are getting that, yeah. more open, but. De to be fair to Belcou, they're definitely showing they're they're playing better. They're playing good football here now. They are. As over to Killian Murray, and now it's come to the uh, this come to the substitute back to Killian Murray again. A point would be a good score at this stage. He's got it. Yep. Two ten. Two ten to four twelve. Four eleven. I was yep. wondering because that's that should be a se seven points back then. To seven, yeah. 15. It's hard to see, but Bill could need to score another two goals. I would get think. A goal now they're very much back in it. I mean, they were they were dead and buried there for a while. I was kind of thinking they were going to be steamrolled, but credit to them, they've they've really hung in there and fought back into this. We've definitely picked the highest scoring game to be showing live on from on a GEA TV this evening. Thanks be to goodness. <laughs> when you look at some of them other half-time scores. <laughs> anyway, away we go. And that was Belcou. Turn that over. It's in the hands of uh, Ethan Butler. He gives that ball in. Oh, it's go it was going towards uh, Lawrence McKeown's in there. It's been picked up. And it's a goal chance in here. Flicked over. It's going to Dean McDermott. Oh, cuffed oh, crossbar. Who'd believe it? Back the open net. Oh, there, who, who would believe this here? This is great entertainment now. It's a bit of a ruckus going on in there. New Belcou player goes to ground referee Carl Bradshaw says Howlett and he'll pick it up that was Dean McDermott I think hit that shot come back off the crossbar it may be entertaining for you Cameron it's not too entertaining <laughs> <for me> watching <laughs> this <laughs> now it's going to be a throw in uh, the ball will be thrown up on the 21 metre line it seems as if referee Carl Bradshaw is just checking the notebook I think I mean, look at the, the new town. There's two Belcou players inside the 13 metre lane that are not being picked up. Killian Murray's going for that, and it's been uh, it's been won now by Jason Flanagan. He's found Sh Sean Mulaney. That was important because there's no Is doubt about out? it. No, they're not out here now. Now it's come to Jason Flanagan, but Paul McGrath nips in, takes that back again, and Belcou with Kieran Flaherty have an opportunity to go forward again. That's back to. Barry McGovern. Barry McGovern has a runner on that far side of the field. It's Josh Killalay. Killalay moving inside the 21 metre line. Gives it back to Barry McGovern here now. And it's come to Killian Murray. He got the last score. Murray 
spreads the ball over to this side of the field now at Dara Flanagan and away to Kieran Flaherty as well oh Kieran Flaherty that's Ooh, a bad way he's had two bad weights now I sound like Kieran. it is I like well him. it's a shot selection in that instance there but one thing for Baku as well like they have still 14 minutes and it's only seven points now so there's no you know there's no need to panic and get goals yeah you're still, still a quarter still of the game to, to go yeah they do yeah they do and as Newtown are bringing on Niall Moan they're bringing off uh, I don't know who's coming off. I see Jero Keith down, but I don't know if he's coming off or not. Jero Keith seems Jero to be coming off. coming off. Is he? Yeah. Neil Moon's going straight in full straight forward. In, so so Jeremy's coming out. So it's been a couple of changes been made here now by the new town management. And I would imagine if Neil Moon's going full forward, it's route one. Route one, I would assume. Yeah. So goalkeeper Keane O'Dowd's going to hit this ball out here now. Newtown definitely under the caution in the last couple of minutes. That's Barry McGovern gets a hand of that there, but Dermot King does well, scoops that ball up. He's got a free as well, free as well. and he's going to get his free. Now, first, Niall Moan was showing for it, but Dermot King doesn't hit it. He hit, hits it in now to Sean Milani. That's a great ball into Milani, breaks it down. Niall Moan's going forward. Milani right-footed. Very important score, that for Newtown. Needed that there, 4-12. Well, Newtown would say they needed that there, 4-12 to 2 10. So back to eight points here now. Goalkeeper Gary Doherty hasn't timed away. It has to hit it out. Gives it to the substitute, who's Ethan Butler. Butler coming here now to Jared McHugh and Barry McGovern's making a run on this side of the field. Uh, uh, Sean Conan got a hand of that there now, and it's that just took the sting out of it. it so it did, but it's put it in Newtown's favour a bit. Garrett Fox and um, and Lawrence McKeown that's battling in there. McKeown's doing well because Garrett Fox has lost that. Now it's in James very McGuire much just on, on the lane. Yeah, very much in the end line. But James McGuire's he's been well he's been out. in tight spots before, and he could <laughs> he got his <laughs> way out of that anyway. <laughs> so away we go. It's James Connolly now at midfield. He has got uh, Dermot King with him as well, breaking this, uh, breaking into the bell coup half now. This is chipped in between Niall Moan and Niall Leonard. Moan has it. He's got Niall Leonard for company, gives it to the midfielder, who's Sean Conan back here now to Niall Moan. Heading, he's retaining possession anyway, which I suppose is the most important yeah. thing. And as Niall Moan gives it back here now, it comes to the midfielder. Sean Conlon's had a very good game. He's looking to hit it into. The um, wrong ball for Sean Milani. No, the wrong ball is for Sean Milani, definitely. And Belcou, if it turned over and if they can get another score here now, and it's away into the hands of the number 20, who's Josh Killalee. Killalee with um, Lawrence McKeown here now, as well as Connor McAloon. Coming over here now to Dara Flanagan. He has got Riri O'Keefe for company. And Flanagan gets away from the first challenge. The second challenge is Gard Fox. Half he's foul, he's I would have said, which referee is uh, he's given a free in. Yeah. And just uh, as right the decision. six seconds was about to, uh, was about to uh, elapse, refer the um, number... He just, his, he just about got it. That's right. Uh, just as the time was about to elapse, Belcou lost possession of the ball, which gave referee Carl Bradshaw an opportunity to give the free. Going to be taken by Paul McGrath, and we'll see a sub coming on here. From a, I think from a Newtown perspective, it'll be a very disappointing score if Belcou get this, because it was a high ball into Sean Milani. It was a totally yeah. the wrong ball to play into him. That was the nail moan ball. That was the nail moan ball, all, all right. Short free taken to Barry McGovern. This is that's not great tackling and Barry or great defending. And Barry McGovern put that ball over the bar. Two. 11 to 4 12. 21 and a half played. If Bilkou can get Second another half. goal. Yeah, What's that? that's back to seven, is it? Seven points, yeah. But the, I mean, that's bread and butter stuff when there's a free that they're picking yeah. up the main to not give it short. And because uh, uh, Byron McGovern, not only did he get the ball, he was able to run forward he five really or six steps. So the kick out comes long here now. It's between Sean Conlon and Paul McGrath. Paul McGrath has maybe nullified that threat from Sean Conlon. He's picked up three great balls, but Newtown have it now. It's Dermot King. Looks to release Connor Corton. He's definitely on the hat trick here now, and I think he's got it. That completes the hat trick. Yeah, and uh, five, five, twelve to. 2-11 so Conor Courtney's going to remember his first game 
on this Patrick on the new field on this field and goalkeeper Gary Doherty coming out long it's uh, James Maguire and James Connolly in here now that's good tackling from Dara Flanagan he turns it over he probably touched it on the ground oh, but the referee let him away with it and it's going to be a free which Dara Flanagan takes not a great ball to Paul McGrath but McGrath does it and here we go it's been chipped forward to Killian Moore he can't get it first time good tackling by Jamie McCaffrey it's one of those things if, if you don't win the ball yeah. make sure your opponent exactly. doesn't win it anyway and Newtown have it turned over and it's Jimmy McCaffrey just in front of us here on this side of the field he has got uh, Josh Killalee in front of him and young Butler as well and away we it's go again I think for Newtown now it's just about using the ball smartly and uh, not taking any unnecessary risks or kicking unnecessary passes if you like well it wasn't unnecessary but it just wasn't well executed yeah uh, yeah. And it was well done, in fairness, it to well um, no, it was well done finished. for Anthony Kerrigan to get out in front. It was a f definitely a 50 50 ball, but Kerrigan showed the hunger to win that there. It's been turned over and away now. It's Barry McGovern and Ryan Carson on that far side of the field. McGovern, he has got Ryan Carson and he Rory has got Rory Keefe in front of him. He does well, spins away from those couple of challenges. Give it well to Dara Flanagan. Loose, that is a loose challenge by Dara Flanagan. Probably going to get the first card. It might be, be a yellow first card. card all right. it'll be a yellow card <laughs> it's here now. a very clean game. Uh, it has, and it wasn't even a dirty challenge. No. But once you make contact around, uh, around the uh, head or neck area, then it ends up being a yellow. Um, another substitute possibly coming on here. Yellow card anyway for um, Dara Flanagan. Lee, Ma Lee Martin, Lee Martin coming, Martin on, coming on. We're number nineteen. Probably going to go into the defence. He would, all right, yeah, unless he's a. Uh, Unless he's fancying a pint, but I can't see him putting him in the forward line. So they're bringing Jimmy McCaffrey off, maybe? No, I think it's Jimmy McGuire. He probably got, remember the knock he got? Right. On the first couple of minutes on his knee. Oh, no, well, it's, it's looks as if it's going to be Conor Quinn. Conor Quinn. Conor Quinn. Conor Quinn's had a decent game as well. He's, he's put in a good shift. So 2-11 plays 5-12 with, what, five minutes to go uh, or so? Normal time was five and a half. Five and a half minutes to go. And it's going to be a free kick in and around the 21 meter line, which uh, which Newtown is going to take. So that's been kicked forward to Dermot King, and Dermot King has that ball. He gives it to um, he gives it to Rui O'Keefe. Yeah, and uh, Ryan just Carson's away the Ryan middle. Carson's away down through the, the middle. middle. There's another goal on here now. Get, uh, just like comes Ray and hit, not put it in the back of the net. Uh, from just that it just went up over the bar, so it's five thirteen to two um, to two eleven. So indeed, it's Michael McGorty who's wearing number twenty five okay. uh, mm -hmm. uh, instead of Anthony Kerrigan. So uh, it changed to the program that we have here. But goalkeeper Gary Doherty is the so the sun's hanging very low it here does now. Come low. It's it's funny because it's 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 the it's the first game on this new pitch for all the boys, so even the sun angle is all it's new. It's going to be, yeah, it's, it's going to be a factor new, to get so used to. So just waiting here for the kick out to come. Referee Carl Bradshaw gives Gary Doherty the, the whistle, and Gary Doherty goes over to that far side of the field. Paul McGrath went for a donor with the in the back, yeah, be donor. Yeah, he had one hand on the back of Paul McGrath. Um, Any time you go up with a hand on the back, you're generally going to get the Ah, she gave the referee the opportunity yeah, to it. Now, here away. we go. This is Michael McGorty giving it to Dara Flanagan. has got that yellow card. He's giving it forward to Lawrence McKeown. And that was uh, Jimmy McCaffrey who came in. McKeown has it. He's made a nice angle for himself. T the scoring opportunity has gone in that instant. Gives it back to Michael McGorty. And McGorty's in and around the centre of the goals. Gives it to Kieran, Flanag Kieran Flaherty. He gives it now to Jared McHugh, join the forward. I suppose once uh, Dermot King came out, that's given Jared McHugh the opportunity it to has. go forward. That's a high ball that's going in there. Going to be a chip on the Point left the foot. It was looks to be number 17, Conor McAloon. Two points he got in the first half. That's another score there now. So 2-12 to 5-13. At this stage now, Belkou really need a goal or two. It's uh, three yeah. and a half of normal left. Well, I mean, every score cuts down. We it's it cuts down the um, the scoring difference. So it looks as if number twenty one, who's Porik Milani, is going to come on here now as well, and he'll probably go to the forwards. I think that's the hat trick man coming off, Conor Courtney. Conor Courtney's coming off. He definitely, definitely remember he will remember tonight anyway. Uh, so he will. So goalkeeper Keanu O'Dowd. 
nice bit of appreciation for Connor Courtney it as is. well after getting his, uh, his his three crucial goals in no, this game. I have to say now, from seeing Connor all year, Connor struggled for form at the start of the year, so it's good to see Connor come into a bit of form. I know he was lacking a bit of confidence, but this is the time to do it. It's the time to do it. The championship yeah. starting to come up. So Belcou have it here now, and that's been chipped forward. That's a ball that's looking to find Killian Murray. He's got it close to the end line. Has to adjust his thing, flicks the ball across the goals. Plant probably too much height on it, yeah. and it's been torn over by the midfielder Jason Flanagan. Belcou and have it oh, they don't. They just nearly about. torn it over again, but it's coming through the hands for Newtown. It's going to try the try to find Sean Connan but Dara Flanagan turns that over gives it to Barry McGovern now through the hands it's come quickly there's a scoring opportunity on here now 24 was uh, um, Ethan Butler it comes off the knee of one of the Newtown players it's away into the corner where the sun is so I can't even see what's happening I mean, just go with the referee's whistles ball, possibly, oh, 45. A 45 maybe. No, or else, it is yeah, a 45, it's a 45. Yeah. So that 45 has been taken quickly. It's between Michael McGorty and Conor McAloon. That ball's gone cross field. And it by is Rory O'Keefe. Rory O'Keefe, who's breaking out of that there. Just gets away slightly from Ryan Carson. But Dermot King has it. He's away on a pace race with Michael McGorty. And uh, Josh Killalee is away in there too. Now King finds the centre oh half back, Jamie. Jamie McCaffrey. He gives it straight to Kieran Flaherty. Oh, Fla Kieran Flaherty. Now it's uh, Paul McGrath away here, here now. Bilkou um, probably really have the numbers up they here do, now yeah. as well. They've got runners and. Oh, that ball just couldn't get over. Oh, that was uh, James Maguire who did well to intercept that there. Now he's away out um, at speed. He's got two players with him. He looks to find Dermid King. King gets away from the challenge. Now he has got Parik Milani in front of him. He's also got Niall Moan. And Milani has it heading back towards the 45 metre line. He chips it inside to try and find Sean Conlon. Right footed. Is it going to curl in? Oh, oh it's Joe. It's nearly dropped under the bar. Handled like a hot Very egg close. there by um, <laughs> Gary Doherty, but he kept it in. He kept it out anyway. And Belcou have it onto the inside the Newtown 65 metre line. It's Paul McGrath gets it forward to Killian Mor Killian Murray. He got away from that challenge, and he's breaking inside the end line. There's three Newtown players around him. Eventually, he gets a free in. That's what you call a professional foul. Here. It is. I <laughs> well, it's Clinical. going. It was it, well. It's it's a sensible one too to not drag to yeah. drag him down either. That it, you don't end up with the card. So it's going to be a free in, I would think. And Killian Murray seems to be going to take it. Looks like it's going to be another yellow card, and it looks as if it's going to be James, James Conley. I think James Conley who gets this here. So <laughs> James Conley is going to join Dara Flanagan on the yellow card list here. Not that long of a list, but no, um, I think James will take that one gladly. Yeah. So as long as there's no more goals conceded. Killian Murray, look, he's going to want to take it short, gives it to Lawrence right. McKeown. McKeown hits the belter inside, it's going to slip through the he legs of someone, but uh, it's been turned out back to, oh, that was very close, because Lawrence McKeown, the ball just spilled away, but it was a free out for uh, for first for the first for Manas. It's going to be a free out on their own 13-metre line, which Newtown are going to take, and with that there, we're probably ticking into 31 injury. 31 minutes nearly. 31 minutes, so one minute of additional time played. There seem to be more stoppages in the first half. They did, all right. Away the play goes now, it's with the centre half back, Jimmy McCaffrey, he's over there, his immediate, the, his opposite number is going towards and that's Owen Shields. Now it comes back to the, um, comes to James Connolly on the yellow card. Away now with the midfielders, Jason Flanagan, he releases the, uh, he releases number 18 Sean, was Carson. Sean Carson had come on come on announced to me anyway but yeah, he uh, slipped on there already did Killian Murray here now has it He's not in the right side for his left foot, but he hits that ball right footed. It's going to cross over to the far side of the goals, and that was uh, leapt up Jamie and McCaffrey. cleaned by Jamie McCaffrey. He did well. He caught a good one in the first half. He, he gives it to James Maguire, and Dermot King's there as well. So Dermot King gives it to Riri O'Keefe. Some of the young players are handling the ball here now. That was looking to find Ryan Carson. Just, just, just found him. Just found him, and now the play continues over on that far side of the field with... Uh, is that Donald Mc Donald McDade? Donald yeah. McDade has it, given it to Carson. I mean, all. I new think all you just wanted to do is hold yeah, the ball, uh, run the yeah, clock down. They'd be quite because glad. There's four, there's six new town players back inside their own yeah. half, so they can afford to just retain possession. 
you, we, we must have nearly two minutes of additional time played, 32 played, 32 there played now, yeah. here now maybe another score going to come dear Mad King breaking inside does he want another goal he takes the point instead 5-14 to 2-12 so 8 points between the teams 5-14 to 2-12 if I think uh, uh, two, two, 2 goals and 11. no it's more it's more 11, 11. Kick out. I think Carl may blow it at that. That's and that'll start. do. He says five fourteen to two twelve. The final score here. Uh, winning start to Newtown in their new field, uh, Charlie. Yeah. I think fully deserved too. Um, the Definitely, they they, they were the, the goals at the right place or at at the right times, and it was a probably the best performance Newtown have put in. I know they'll be ha they'll be disappointed to concede a couple of goals, but overall, it's probably the best performance they've put in. And plenty of things to work on as well, because when Belcou got back into the game, there was yeah. definitely a time when it looked as if they were going to shake uh, Newtown. Newtown couldn't bury them totally. I know they probably the game was probably over, but Belcou, all credit to them, came back into it and got the goal and got a couple of the points. But uh, Newtown will be pleased with that there. So a good successful start to Newtown in their in, in in their new field, and when we get the other results from some of the other games, I mean, you you you're gonna have a better idea of how things is going. So the next game that Newtown will play is Timor going to be away. Timor. Timor that, away. That, that's the big one. That is a a a, a very big game, um, no doubt, because Belcou still have to play Timor as well. Well, that's their 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 last game, but uh, uh you know. But could be disappointed this evening. I think. Probably that doesn't shed Belcou in the It'll certainly not help their scoring difference no. as well, but these yeah. things uh, uh, th these things can ha happen in this here. And certainly uh, uh, great for the new, like we can speak now for the Newtown community. It was a great evening opening their new field. And just getting the win and put was the cherry on top of the whole thing, but it's it's a great evening for the club. Like It's been a long time coming and ho hopefully the club can push on now and push back up the leagues and back where we believe that we, yeah, where you're aiming to be we belong anyway Kieran yeah. you know so and with that there we'll wrap up this uh, broadcast so thanks very much for joining us on uh, for the analysis Charlie uh, I know you'll sooner, you'll sooner be outside playing there but uh, it's, it's, it's the closest thing it anyway. yeah it's the closest <laughs> thing you're going to get to it <laughs> so year. We thank our main sponsors, Monaghan Brothers TV, for sponsoring for Manage EA TV. But just another word for the sponsors for this game. DG Windows and Doors, who come in from the Belcoo Bell Club, and Gort Nicaro Tire Service from Newtown Butler. We are very thankful to our sponsors for this year because without that there, it we can't keep the show on the road. Um, I'd, I'd say our viewers can't see it, but when you do get looking round, uh, as our van gets around the other clubs, you'll see the equipment and, uh, and and all the stuff that we have. So we do thank our sponsors. If you ever want to get involved, uh, it's not that hard to get involved. So just give any of us a message and we'd be d only delighted to see it. And with that, we'll say Slán and join us again soon on Fermanagh, on Monaghan Brothers from Mana GEA TV.